Hey vlog, happy weekend, it's CJ. Today's a Saturday, it is a gorgeous day in Portland, Oregon, 80 degrees. I started off my day running some errands with my dad. Now Kiki is getting tattooed, so I'm alone for most of the day. I'm just like really energetic and happy today and feel like moving around the world and not being on a screen or being in my house, which is doable because it's really nice out. So I think I'm gonna take a walk. Bookwise, I'm still reading Outline by Rachel Cusk. I'm almost done with it. I think I have two more sections liking it. You know, not wa as wild as I thought it would be. I'm really not, so that's interesting. But that's where my headspace is today. I'm full of joy, jubilant, excited to be alive, feeling like hopeful, you know, all those nice spring feelings. Hey. I'm outside. I'm gonna finish my last chapters of Outline by Rachel Cusk. I'll let you know how I feel once that's done. Cool light, huh? I finished Outline. I liked it. I gave it three stars. The second place is a lot better, you guys. I mean, Disparate conversations as she's on a writing residency in Greece, teaching a class, she's missing her family, she doesn't know what her identity is anymore since she's divorced, and I liked it. I didn't like it, but I don't know. Um, this wasn't a super banger to me. I mean, some were really good and some were whatever. I'll read the rest of the series, but Second place is a lot better. <laughs> this room is my project today. <laughs> oh my God. Ah, this is our guest room, as you know. It's also where I have my desk. It's also where I keep all of my clothes. And it's also the only closet we have in the house. So we have like all of our suitcases up here, linens, whatever. Um, we haven't remodeled this at all. It came with the house and it's not great or functional, really. Um, this is like a down the road project. I'd love to get like a closet system in here. That makes more sense for me. But we're just trying to organize right now because my dad is getting surgery next week and he's coming to live with us for two weeks so we can take care of him. So this needs to be a functional room for him and not a dumping pit. So this is before, okay? Let's see how far I get today. We got quite a lot done. I need to take this pile of clothes to Goodwill. I need to wash dad's sheets for him next week. That's our full laundry bag. But, I mean, everything's put away. Reorganize my closet a little bit. Here's like our cleaning corner. No, it is not ideal. This is not ideal either. <laughs> Lots of unused vertical space. Maybe I'll have Kiki build me some shelves one day. We need a door here too, so I don't always have to look at this. Feeling accomplished for the day. There's nothing for me to do today, so I'm gonna go outside and read my library hold of Pew. Check in later. Albert's family movie Whoa. night. Yes it is. We're watching Shiva Baby. Oh great. We'll report back how we like it, I guess, right? Yes, definitely. Are you going to be on your phone the whole time? Who? You. No, put my phone down in a minute. Okay. We finished Shiva Baby. What'd you think? That was awesome. I liked it a lot. It was like a panic attack. So funny. Yeah, it was it. like House of Carters. I just didn't know. Yeah. It's different. What would you rate it out of five? Four. What? <laughs> you just said you hated it. <laughs> What's <laughs> what? what would you rate it out of five? Come here. I feel like <laughs> I guess three and a half. I but too, like, yeah. I loved it, but I guess if I hate it, then I think Kiki's sitting on more. it. Yeah, it's right there. Come on, baby. Kiki, where are we going on this fine Sunday? Target. Target. And Friday. the grocery store. We'll be right back. It's Sunday. I saw this morning. Where was it? Under your pile? 
we should wash the throw blanket at the end of the bed today and my blanket that I use on the couch. Sure. Hey, I didn't get anything for lunch. That's terrible news. <gasps> oh! Why is your camera just on? Ah, oh, shit. Forgot to get lettuce. What are your thoughts about sleeping with a top sheet? Happy day. Happy carrot day. With his already great court vision and decision making, it makes him a total complete offensive package. We've known that, but he's expanding on his game year after year. And in these situations during the year, Damian Miller. Hi. I am just chilling today. <laughs> um... <laughs> Kiki's making dinner. I'm reading Pew by Catherine Lacey, I think is the author's name, for the majority of the day and yesterday. I'm liking I'm just it. Kidding. My noodles are totally fine, Snooty. Don't worry about it. His noodles are fine. I'm liking it so far. Jalen from the Bar in the Bookcase, my friend, didn't love it and thought I wouldn't love it, but I'm liking it so far. I'm about 50% through. We follow a narrator who kind of has no sense of self or like awareness of like who they are it's kind of like they're plucked out of a fever dream and like made to inhabit a human body and they're just trying to find like safety um so they have taken to sleeping in church pews and they fell asleep in a church pew and a family in this weird little town that has very like cult vibes very much so like deeply religious cult insular small town community energy takes them in and names them pew because pew has voluntarily gone mute with the majority of the people they are interacting with in this story i was actually just watching ben ben green's latest vlog and he was taking notes about second place love second place we both love second place oh my god the book is incredible but i was like oh i should start taking notes about when i'm reading again because as I was like meditating on what Pew is really about, I was like, I think it's actually about like what what happens, like interactions people feel more comfortable with knowing that they're not going to get a response. Like since mute, Pew is being voluntarily mute, everyone they're interacting with is like really, really opening up to them, being super vulnerable and like oversharing, kind of like trauma dumping on Pew at every chance they get because they know Pew won't like reiterate any of the stories or tell it to anybody else. And there is like a big fear of gossip in this small town because there's like some established hierarchy between the different religious families. They keep referring to and like talking about a festival that's going to happen in this book. Um, the way the book is structured is by day so it starts on like wednesday when pew was found and i'm assuming it's going to end on sunday which is the day of this festival and they're like pew this festival is really weird like we don't know as a community if you should join us so there is like a tension building on what that festival is i have no idea at this point as a reader I'm like is it human sacrifice like what is going to happen like so far it indicates that they're all worshiping a christian god but might not be true who knows so I'm going to jot down a few thoughts that I've had while I was reading Pew and then finish Ben's vlog and then go back to reading Pew. So thank you, Ben, for the reminder that it's good to have a note-taking practice while you read. What's for dinner, Kiki? Tempeh, lettuce, tomato, sandwich. <laughs> We're having BLTs. It's hot. It's like... It's like 62. Yeah, it's like 80, 80, <laughs> 80 plus degrees out, so it's sandwich for dinner weather. Also, here's my uh, outfit for today. <laughs> this dress is from Muji. I weirdly love all Muji. of I weirdly love all of Muji's linen. It's like really good quality and it's really low priced. I think it's like objectively too big for me, but like that's the point, right? Nothing will touch your skin. I was wearing real shoes earlier, like a sneaker, but now I have my camo Crocs on. And, uh, like, is this a good outfit? No. 
but it is a pretty practical outfit. <laughs> Do I look dead inside? It's Tuesday now. I didn't vlog yesterday because I had an insane work day and I was up until 11.30 delivering a project. Very, very terrible. I took my dad into surgery today. He's getting surgery on his neck to replace some of his discs. So very good vibes that all goes well, it should, uh, but you never know. So hoping, hoping to pick him up tomorrow. And in the meantime, I got some books from Barnes & Noble. After this, I really am on a buying ban. I mean it. Okay. So I watched Ocean Wong give a talk at the college I went to school at, the college I went to, and it was great. He read from two new poems, and I was like, oh my god, these poems are gorgeous. It's probably just his speaking voice, but I was like, wow, I need to, need to get me his original poetry book. So I bought it. Um, we'll see how that goes. Oh wow, this is small. I also bought Open Water, Disgusting Deckled Edges. I've heard that this is really like a moving story of a relationship. I know Hannah loves this, goes hard for it, so I'm hoping I like it. I will not critique it too harshly, Hannah, I swear. Yeah, I got this David Sedaris collection of his diaries because it's the last Sedaris I haven't read and i was missing him i was just missing him and then i got don't let me by lonely by claudia rankin who is like you know a literary guy a collection of weird poems and prose and essays why did i buy this someone smart was talking about it and i wanted to read it that's it on my burns and noble haul Mostly ordered for this, but then this all happened too. I also got a delivery from Zara. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why did I think I need this? <laughs> it's like a sequined silver mini dress. I think it is kind of cool. I think this could be like a vibe with some sneakers. If I ever go back in the world. I like it. We'll try it on later. This is a weird haul for me. You're gonna be like, CJ, you wear jeans and a sweatshirt every day. Here's like a see-through slip silver dress. Again, I don't know, I'm like picturing myself back at happy hour with my friends, wearing this and like sneakers. I'm being like, what's up, fuckers? Here I am, I'm ready. <laughs> what is this? Oh, like a nice tank dress. This looks like a really flattering cut. I love this cut of tank tops. It's just black, midi length. I love a midi dress. I don't own a lot of tops. I own like t-shirts and sweatshirts. <laughs> and I'm trying to expand past that, but it's hard. Um, seems a little girly. I got like a wrap greeny top. We'll see what this looks like with jeans. Lastly, what I'm most excited for, the chartreuse oversized shirt dress. This looks bomb. Up uh, people, it's CJ. I don't know if this is a weekly vlog anymore. Today is, what's today? Wednesday? Hot dog day? No, today is Wednesday, it's not hot dog oh, day. son of a bitch. Big, big <laughs> week at the Alberts household. Dad got surgery. He's here with us now, surviving. Wish him well, wish him a speedy recovery. He had compressed discs in his back and neck. And he got them compressed discs. Did I say that weird? Com okay, he had very pronounced. And he's in bed in the guest room now, chilling, which is great. I'm reading Open Water. It's good. I am 50 pages in. Slight little novel, disgusting deckled edges, and it's about a woman and a man falling in love in London. Great. I also got some book mail today. Lost in Summerland by Barrett Swanson, out from Counterpoint. I think I requested this, but I also can't remember. I bought this book from Barnes & Noble, Kathy Acker, Blood and Guts in High School, have never read. It's kind of a seminal feminist text. So I'm into it. Ah! And then I have this arc called Atmospherians, which I already had an arc of, and I DMF'd. 
So that's interesting. I did not like this book. If you want me to send this book to you, I will. Let me know. 6 p.m. I'm gonna go sit in the patio and read for a little bit. Uh, bye. Hi everyone. I just finished open water. As fast as that. Sat down red. Hour and a half passed by and I'm done. I really liked it. I really liked it. Um, I wrote down some notes on my phone. What did I say? Ugh, did I leave my phone out there? Oh no, thank God I brought it with me. So it's essentially the following. Stop, I can't handle it. Please stop. Maggie. It's essentially a love story about a young black man and a young black woman living in England and the burdening relationship happening between them and kind of the sacredness of their bond and how it develops, how their love develops and how their relationship grows. A few things I wrote down were, it's like com incredibly in context with current culture which I'm assuming is super specific to black culture within the UK, within London. There are so many media references from wow. books that our protagonist is reading, to albums that he's listening to, to photography exhibitions he's going to. It was very much so like in reference to other things and in relation to, which I found really interesting. It was like, an exploration of their love, but also of black identity in Britain. And it all was really reliant on context and really important that context be delivered. And I thought that was really cool and refreshing. Other thing I wrote was rhythmic. So again, there's a lot of music references in this and that feels like the tonality of the book also was very musical. It was very, like establishing a tempo, the writing was establishing a tempo. I liked it. It's written in second person, so it's like you, like you, second person, right? That's that's what you say. You're riding the overground. Is that first person? Yeah, second person. You're lying on your bed. Blah blah blah. It's hard for me to sink into and like confuse me about time passing at first, but then I got into it. Also just like hugely about vulnerability for black men and like living and existing in a police state where their bodies are constantly policed. There's so much fear going around if they're gonna make it home, just trying to like survive and also foster the spark of love at the same time. And just like the heaviness that comes even amongst like the greatest joys of your life because of white supremacy and racism. Really love this. I was looking at the author's Instagram and I definitely think this is a piece of auto fiction. Um, the photographer is, I mean, the author is also a photographer and so is our main male protagonist. And it seemed like uh, he like added his girlfriend on Instagram and she has like blonde short hair, just like our, his, his love interest in here. He, anyway, I don't think, I think they were both unnamed too. I liked it. I liked it. I think this is redder to watch. I think he's really gonna get more control over his prose. I found something that was kind of like a little grating was the use of repetition in this book. Like, like the repetitive prose that he brought forward from the beginning of the book to the end of the book. There was just like some more like metaphorical questioning that was repeated a ton like what does it mean to break what does it mean to fracture and i could have had like 10 percent less than that but it good i liked it it's friday 6 p.m i'm in my pajamas what am i reading kiki i am reading a touch of jen which the publisher sent me i only got like 10 pages in. Can't say I'm loving it so far, but it's supposed to be like a millennial dramedy that is supposed to be like Otessa Moshbeg. So the blurbs sound good on it, but can it deliver? Unsure. I'm also reading Hidden Valley Road, which is a nonfiction book. And it's an account of 
a family who had 12 children and six of their boys had schizophrenia. It's been really interesting. It reads like fiction. I'm really liking that over my real fiction right now for some reason. So that's interesting. I'm like, hmm, maybe I just need to read better, more interesting nonfiction that aren't essay collections, you know? <sighs> kind of looking at like the American landscape of mental illness and psychotherapist and all of the boys got diagnosed in like the 50s and 60s and seeing how like they got mistreated so much because of the misinformation circulating at that time within the therapy world, mental illness world. So I'm liking that. Uh, we are getting Indian food delivered tonight. Gonna be gorgeous. I really wanted to watch a movie, but Kiki is watching Mortal Kombat instead. Which is a movie, right? Not a show. It's a movie. Which is a movie. And it's I'm not going to be watching that. I'm going to be reading instead. Uh, Those are our plans. Love you. Bye. Chickpea cutlet plate. And a tempeh and beet salad. Mmm. Kiki watched last night? Okay, stop. <laughs> We're going to Target in the grocery store and get my dad's stuff. Goodbye. Wrap up the vlog. I am reading A Touch of Jen. Still reading this. I got more into it last night. Tone wise, it actually reminds me of The New Me by Hallie Butler more than it reminds me of Mosh Bag, but I see the like dry removed tie to some of her unlikable characters. I see why that's in the blurb. I'm liking it now. It's about to ramp up into madness, I think, which will be fun. We're ordering pizza tonight. Mm, we might watch a movie. The Oscars are tomorrow, so I'd like to watch, like, I think I want to watch Minari. I think I'm going to pay them 20 bucks to rent it. Gotta do it. I also found a printout online of, like, an Oscars ballot sheet, which me and Kiki like to do every year. Well, I like to do it when Kiki does it because I make him do it. It's about it. I hope everyone has a good week. Hope it's been okay for you. Talk to you later. Goodbye.